Hey everyone, this is Fulton at Laser, Lou Air Student Radio, and I'm doing Fulton's Music Room, of course. I'm joined by a great friend, Eric Keen. They're really awesome. They're a great musician. And for clarity's sake, I will introduce myself. I'm Fulton. I use he, him, his pronouns. And Eric, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Eric. I use they, them pronouns. And, uh, yeah. We've known each other for a while. Um, we kind of grew up in similar spheres, and we're just going to talk about some music that we enjoy today. So I can go first. Um, pulled this, Krungbin, Hasta El Cielo. It's their album, Con Todo Mundo, but in dub. And one thing that's interesting is that it's mixed by Vuelo, which could be a pseudonym of their guitarist, Mark, but I'm not sure. It's very lo-fi, but I don't know. I could just be jumping to assumptions because Boilo, but Brillante's Del Boilo is just a dub workshop in Houston. So Eric, if you'd like to go next. Uh, something that I kind of have always going is um, this, it's the band Swan Dive. Uh, the, some, some of the members I'm also really close fun, friends with and Fulton is too. Um, and uh, so Molly and Mickey from the band and their their kid Grafton, um, they they gave this CD to me for my seventeenth uh, birthday, and it's 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 a it's a nice compilation. Yeah. I thought about it for some time best ofs and b-sides <laughs> and it's it's just it's really special to me and nice and there's there's some remixes there's um, some alternate versions and just little cute like nice I, I especially like the b-sides side um and coming up in june is the 20th anniversary of their album June and there's going to be a, a live stream that's that's planned between uh, Bill Domain and Molly and I hope to tune into that <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be fun I'm very excited I, I hope I can tune in as well It'll be yeah yeah we'll, we'll let each other know about it as it comes up and then up next I have some 12 inches um, I bought these and then I finally got around to listen to them. The first one is the Gibson Brothers, Kaser Mi Vida, If You Should Go, it's disco. The B side U is a lot better. The A side is horrible, <laughs> like very bad stereotypical jazz. But on Kaser Mi Vida, there's this really long bongo solo. It'll probably get some airplay next year on my friend Felix and I's crate digging show. Excellent grab. <laughs> um, so something else I've been listening to. I don't have a physical physical copy. Like, um, is a uh, Jacob Mann's second big band album. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> it's it's so good. Um, all of his music is is really, really well done, and it has so much personality, with and like like it's silly without being just novelty or something. Mm -hmm. It's um, a great balance, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And for big band music, especially, yeah, it, it brings such a such like a new light because it's 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 completely it's a completely different attitude from like Basie or 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 Duke Ellington or something J Jacob just kind of he goes he 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 just has like this different personality and and you just gotta listen to it to <laughs> yeah to i agree I, yeah 
because you can taste some of the old big band but you just get this newer influence that is absolutely amazing yeah it, it feels more fun it doesn't feel more uh like structured it's still structured but it doesn't feel as like i don't know how to say it like be, you're being forced to play these standards here yeah and like it's more loose maybe maybe it's my high school experience talking <laughs> maybe <laughs> i just want to play these charts <laughs> and then um, this makes me think did you see on jacob's instagram that he posted a I, I hope it's like a full length me too I, yeah i want i want something more than the ep <laughs> yeah i can uh, go, go next if you have if you don't have anything else to say about jacob man uh he, it's just his music is so bouncy yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah but go for it all right um this was another 12 inch i got a while back that i finally listened to got it for the name of the song it's nancy reagan's head by Mission to Burma, which is kind of a hot topic now if you think about Burma and Myanmar. Um, it's not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry you've had bad luck with your with your, with your records. <laughs> <laughs> Great thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, I think I have one more. Lately, my my brother and I have been listening to um, that's a Bogdan Rachinsky, uh, this electronic artist, um, and an album of his that sticks with me is Samurai Math Beats. It was made in like the 90s on like his his 90s laptop and he <laughs> like he 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 there, it's full of like his singing but like modulated like really high pitched to sound like a, a kid singing through this laptop <laughs> and but it it's it's overlaid with these varied kind of surreal electronic beats um a particular track i enjoy is um track six it's in japanese uh sayonara sutara um and uh it it just like it has it has this repeating chord progression that just it's really great <laughs> yeah i don't know I, I i i don't know that much about the album itself or how it was made but i just i've i've come back to it a few times the past few weeks Yeah, the the opener is really silly. <laughs> it's, it's, he's he's like singing about like these ninja moves. <laughs> like <on Ninjago. laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's, it's 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 worthwhile. Yeah, I I recommend it. Yeah. So, um, if you'd like to go ahead, uh, I'd like to ask you some questions about one of your newest projects that you kind of just. Over, uh, you know, how long it's been, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I.